I'm back again with another video. I know, I know it's been a while. I've been really busy with our wedding preparations. Of course, I got married. And right a week after our wedding, we went on a honeymoon. We went to Japan. Uh, I know it's quite weird since it is a honeymoon, so we should have gone to the Maldives or somewhere romantic, but I'm really not that type of girl. I wanted to explore cities. That is what I like best when traveling. So yeah, so we just got back from Tokyo a few days ago and I just wanted to share with you what I got for myself. I didn't include our food haul in this video just because it is already organized since those are the souvenirs for our family, friends, and colleagues of work. So I will just show you guys what I bought for myself during our trip to Japan. So if you are interested, then please keep on watching. Alright, so starting off with these small things. First off is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. I wasn't really planning on buying this one, but when I was in line, I think that was in the Mitsukoshi drugstore. That's where I mostly bought all the Kit Kats, like the green tea, the raspberry, and the dark chocolate, I think. Anyway, when I was in line, I saw this in the counter, and when I converted it, it turns out that it is around 200 pesos. So I bought a lot of these just to give for my friends. And also, I bought one for myself since I love eyelash curlers. I'm currently using the Shue, Shue Mura one. But yeah, I really wanted to try this since um, I think the Shiseido brand also sells like the rubber pads separately. So it's easier to refill or I don't really have to buy a new eyelash curler unlike the Shumimura ones wherein uh, you need to buy a new one if you needed to replace the rubber pad. And then these two items are actually novelty items. I don't really know if this is any good uh, makeup wise but honestly I bought it just for the packaging. These are Sailor Moon brands. I think it's called Miracle Romance. So this one is the liquid eyeliner pen and then it comes with the cap that Sailor Moon uses I think when she transforms. No, I forgot. This is her wand. Yeah, her wand. So that's just how it looks like. It's really cute and I don't even know if I will be using the eyeliner. I'll try. And then the other one is... Sailor Mars. Um, Sailor Moon is actually a big part of my childhood. Um, Sailor Moon is very big during, I think, in my elementary days. So yeah, this is the other one. This is, I think it's a blush. But based on the pictures in the store, I think this one is a blush. Alright, so sticking to cosmetics, I also bought perfume. Uh, I bought this in the Narita International Airport just when we were about to leave. Because um, we still have a lot of yen left. So we decided to shop for other food and, you know, gifts in the airport. Since we wanted to take advantage of the tax-free shopping, so this is from Jo Malone. I really love this company. I love all their scents. It's very unique. And so I bought two small ones. And so these are the ones that I got. They came in this beautiful box packaging with a black bowl. So this is the first one that I got. If you follow me on Instagram, I also did an unboxing of this one. It is the same scent. It's called the Wild Blue Bell. And I really love this scent, but I don't know. I'm not quite ready yet to purchase it in the 100ml bottle. So yeah, I, I repurchased it in this small bottle. Instead, it's the 30ml bottle. And I love this scent as an everyday scent. 
just when you know I don't know what to wear and then the other one is this one it's called the wood sage and sea salt scent I really love this scent it's very I would say unisex um, I don't really like too much well it depends sometimes it depends on my mood sometimes I want like florally and fruity scents and sometimes I just want clean scents but this one fits the bill I think it just smells really unique it smells um, just fresh it's just a fresh smell for me so I really love this I bought it in the 30 ml bottle as well because I wanted to try it out first and then maybe in the future I would purchase the 100 ml bottles all right so the next items that I got are from this shop it is the Adidas Originals Tokyo shop it is in Shibuya uh, area I had a lot of fun going to this shop although it is very far from the Shibuya station but I love the street going there because it is lined up with like independent um, Japanese designers if you will I feel that they have a unique take on fashion so I really enjoyed walking towards there even though my feet and my legs hurt so I got two um, sneakers from there just because I know some of these sneakers are actually sold online here in the Philippines or also um, in the Adidas shops but um, when I converted it into peso, I think it was around 1,500 to 2,000 pesos cheaper to buy there just because they have an 8% uh, tax free. So anyway, these are the sneakers that I got. Let's open one first. So the box is in the original Adidas box and it comes with a tissue paper with the Adidas Originals um, logo right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very light. It's like the tissue is off-white and then the Adidas logo is like a yellowish like tone. So the first pair that I got are these. So these are the Superstar Slip-Ons. And I got mine in the all black um, logo because some of the versions of this one has like um, a, a white. Hold on. It has a white logo here on the tab, and I got mine in the all black, so that's just how it looks like. And then the sides are just leather with. The Adidas logo right there so it just looks like that I feel that this one is very comfortable because of the material I think it's like a stretchable material and then of course you have the shell in the toe part of the shoe um, as the signature of the superstar model by the way I'm sorry if I'm rushing into this video because I have the only time to film right now and I am about to go to work so yeah I know it's back to reality I don't even want to come home anymore <laughs> so the other pair that I got are these so you again you have the tissue paper with the Adidas logo right there and these are actually the men's line but I really fell in love with the color. I don't know. I've been having this craving with this type of color. So this is the other pair that I got. It is called the Adidas Campus. So it is like a suede type of material in the dark green or I don't know. Is it moss or like a military? I don't know if it's in the military color because I don't think I can read this at all. It is in Japanese. So 
There you go. That is the item code. And then, this is just how it looks like. It is just the green suede. And it just has the campus writings right there in gold. And then at the back, it is similar to the Stan Smith's one. But it is in gold lettering. So I got mine. I'm usually a US size 7 or 7.5 depending on the um, style of the shoe. But mine, I got mine in the in the 5.5 US med size. By the way, here is the item code for the Adidas Superstar Slip-Ons in the black color. So this one is, I got it also in the uh, men's size. I don't know because the store is actually divided into two floors, I think. Um, the one in the ground floor is for men's and then the other on the top is for women's but uh, we stayed longer in the men's section just because my hubby was having a little bit of trouble deciding on what to get. So. I was too lazy and too tired to go upstairs to the women's department so I decided to get my sneakers in the men's size instead. So for this one, for the slip-ons, I got it in the size 6 US in the men's line. Alright, so we're down to the last two unboxings and these are the items that I am most excited about. So I got it from one from Louis Vuitton and another one from Gucci. So let's open this one first. Um, this one I was really planning to get just because um, it is a very like symbolic piece for our Japan trip. So again, it comes in the small paper bag and in the box. And here is my receipt. So in Japanese, yen. It is about 24,840. So yeah, I got this in the Ginza area in, I don't know the exact address because it's in Japanese as well. But yeah, it's, it's, it's just in the Ginza area. It's the big Louis Vuitton building there. Uh, you'll be able to find it. It's right across Chanel Ginza. So, yeah, here is the box. It's just in the draw box type. And let's open it together. Yeah. So, here you go. It is in this dust bag right here. And what's this? <clears throat> oh, it's just their care card. Of course, it's in Japanese. English and I think Chinese. And the item comes in this small dust bag. And this is what I got. Ta da! Isn't it so cute? So, this is the bag charm from the Kabuki line. Um, it is commemorative of. Kyoto, I think. Kyoto, Japan. So I decided to get this one to just be a, like a, a remembrance of our honeymoon in Tokyo. So I decided to get this one because the other one just scares me. <laughs> I will insert a picture of the other um, print of this bag charm. <laughs> it just scares the hell out of me. So I decided to go with this one instead and it has more festive colors so it has the monogram canvas right there and then it has prints um yeah commemorative of japan and then on the back side it is just in red leather so this one is made in italy there you go let us go to the last unboxing that we have I have here a paper bag from Gucci and just a side story, I was actually planning to get a piece from Chanel like um, I really wanted the cocoa handle in the medium size in color black 
and or a Chanel mini rectangular flap but two of the Chanel stores that I went to didn't have any of those items and I, I don't know it, I, I guess they have sold out of the items that they had in store just before the price increase maybe that is why most of their like famous or uh, popular items were sold out but anyway already given up on buying a Chanel piece in Japan but right before we were about to board the plane we passed by Gucci and I saw this item on display and when I asked if how much is it and if they have other stocks the, the piece on display was the last stock and the essay actually told me that I was very lucky because whenever they have this item in store it immediately runs out or sold out and so price was actually what sold me I mean this item I inquired yesterday from Gucci green belt they sell this item at least around 20 to 22,000 pesos um, more expensive compared to how much I got it from Japan. So anyway, let's move on to the unboxing. So this is the paper bag that it comes with and let us remove the box from the paper bag. Alright, so this is the box that it came in. I really wanted to have this box just because when I bought my Gucci Disco, I didn't have a box for that. They just gave me a dust bag. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this, this box. So let's just remove the ribbon. And this box is the magnetic type. So it's just the white with the Gucci logo in the front. And it opens up like so. So inside there is the item. She packed it really carefully. So let me just put down the box. It's quite heavy. Alright, so here you go. This is the dust bag that it came with. It has this Gucci like tab in the front and it is made of a soft white cloth. And then on top you have the drawstring right there and let me just untie it Ooh, I'm so excited this bag is very popular and I'm very thankful that I was able to spot this one it is a very nice alternative from Chanel Hint, hint. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what this is. So, what I got is this one. Ta da! So, it is the Gucci Marmont in the black velvet material. So, it just looks like that. Um, the essay actually told me that this is in the medium size, but I don't know why but I'm doubting her just because I see a lot of this on Instagram and on the internet and there is a size bigger than this one like um, similar to the jumbo size so I'm guessing this one is the small and then there's another smaller like size down, down from this one it's around this size right there and that one I'm guessing is the mini so yeah that is just how it looks like and she wrapped the chain in a tissue paper as well so let me just take it out I love it I love it I actually forgot how it looks like just because I didn't touch any of the stuff that I just showed you ever since we came back because I really wanted to do a true unboxing of the items that I got so seeing it in person 
It's so gorgeous. I really love the velvet feel of this bag. I was actually deciding if I should get this one or the other one in the in the all leather in the color like rose beige. I don't know or old rose or I don't really know <laughs> the exact name but the velvet really caught me and so I just want to give you like a close-up of the bag so that is just how it looks like I know you know how this looks like there are a lot of videos here on YouTube about this bag but I just want to give you an overview so it is just the velvet with the stitchings in the metalis or mat metalis I don't know how to pronounce it just just let it be okay so yeah that's just how it looks like and then the hardware is in the gold antique hardware and then you have the chain straps right here with the leather uh, piece just to go on your shoulder and on the back it has the heart detail right there there you go so this is how you open this it is a push lock it has a button below that you can push and then it just opens like so so in the flap it is in leather and the inside is in the pink like satin lining right there so inside it has a zippered compartment right there which houses the care cards so inside you have these bunch right here so you have the leather sample or the sample of the fabric and then a tag and a care booklet right there and another care booklet I don't know where my receipt is. I think it's in my passport or something. I'm really happy with this purchase. And yeah, so it just looks like that on the inside. It is just one big compartment with one zippered compartment in the back. So I don't even know how this will wear, but it is one of the bags that I bought solely because of how it looks. I didn't even think about how it will wear over time but since I have a lot of bags in my collection I don't think I will be using this as an everyday bag maybe just um, on special occasions or yeah depending on what I'm wearing that day and based on the reviews that I have um, watched here on YouTube um, it is very easy to use and maybe I will do a review on this bag a couple weeks or months after I have used it. So that's it guys. That's everything that I got from Tokyo, Japan. I really love the city and the people who live there. They're very warm people. The place is really clean and very easy to navigate if you are traveling via the subway. So for all you guys who haven't been to Tokyo, Japan, Please put it on the list of where you wanted to travel because you will not regret it. I really love the city and I highly recommend Tokyo. So that's it guys. That's everything that I have for you today. Again, if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Instagram at personalobsession. Have a great day guys and take care. Bye!